welcome, 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 welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program. Target Individual Experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, let me, um, oh yes, let me continue on with the Megan Good situation. So, like I said, these women will marry a certain type of man and still want to act as if, you know, that, that man that they marry, that his reputation doesn't matter, that what he says doesn't matter, that his uh, leadership don't matter, right? All the stuff that they claim that they want now, okay? All right? So you want to get mad at your husband who was a pastor for divorcing you because you don't have the respect for your husband as a wife should. And you don't have any notion of how your action is going to negatively impact your husband his job, right? His reputation, you know? And that is the mindset, like I said, within, rampant within our community, black community, particularly within black women and how they've been used, abused, conditioned to go against the very men in their group who they want to protect them, you right? Who they want to pay all the bills and all this stuff after talking about how they're independent see cognitive warfare cognitive psychological warfare what does it do confuse the minds of the target or victim or victims and targets to have them in a state of confusion a state of denial a state of illusion to have them hating the truth Right? It is creating a narcissistic mindset. I know there's a, they just did a research. How you doing, all my right. brother? Hey, how uh, you doing? All right, how you doing? All right. So they've been, uh, they did a research of, um, you know, it says women have a special kind of narcissistic, ooh, oh shit, my, oh, I just had, I think I just pulled my muscle. But anyway, there's a, there's, there's a research that it was done about women having a certain different kind of narcissistic personality that's different from your so-called regular diagnosis of that uh, trait of what would be considered, um, you know, you can't categorize male narcissism and female narcissism as being the same, okay? That's what it is. So they have a certain, a special kind of narcissism. One that is overlooked. One that is not talked about. One that victimizes men, right? While at the same time, praises women. I would say victimize and villainize men. Uh, and then praise women for their toxic personalities and toxic behaviors. But it's, again, let's talk about reward and punishment. All right, so anyway, with Megan Good, as I said, she, I'm like, how could you be mad? Did you even talk to your husband about the role? And if you spoke to him about the role, did you give all the details? Did you say that you're going to be in the scene or play a you know, lesbian character or, or what have you. You gotta have boundaries. I mean, I understand you're an actress. There's certain actors that won't do nudity. You ever see Nicole Kidman do nudity? You ever see Viola Davis do nudity? Whoopi Goldberg? You ever see, you know, or you ever see them in, uh, star in a role in which, you know, and it's fine if they do, you know? They're not married to pastors. You got it as a, you know, for women, you have to consider 
you're a man, your husband, his feelings. Just because it may be good for your career doesn't mean it may be good for your relationship or your marriage. And if your career is more important than your marriage, your relationship, you shouldn't be in a relationship. And your husband should leave you. If you're not gonna, if you're not considering his feelings, right? If you're saying that what he says or think don't matter, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. Then why get married? <laughs> are you, you know, what I'm saying, I'm like, are you getting married because? You know, your other girlfriends are getting married? Because women would do shit like that. You know, they feel, oh, my, my girlfriend's getting married. I should get married. So the first dude that comes along, they try to pressure him into marriage. This is the mistake that they make. They follow other women, other people. Instead of looking within themselves, working on themselves, right? Finding a person, of a person coming into their life, and be open and honest. All right? Communication is key. Honesty is key. All right? Compromising is key. You can't have a relationship if you can't compromise. All right? You can't have a relationship if you don't take the other person's feelings into consideration. You can't have a relationship or a marriage you have if you're not willing to grow. All right? If you're not willing to uh, have maturity. Alright? And yeah, talk to you guys in this video.